Hey everybody, Max here from Verified Investing, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the CFDs on copper chart, which we're gonna be looking at on the weekly time frame to assess what it may do next. So let's get straight into the chart and let's start by looking at this macro parallel channel that I've identified on my chart. As you can see, there were two resistance points where it got rejected from and three tests of support. And now that we have this in mind, we can look more at the local structure to figure out what it may do next. So let's start with its local support. As you can see here by this line, this green line on my chart, this green horizontal line on my chart, it, this previous resistance that got tested one, two, three, four times and eventually broke out is now acting as our support. Upon breaking out from that previous resistance, it formed a new resistance in this double top zone, and that is our local resistance that we're gonna be working with right now. Upon testing that local resistance, it pulled back and made that previous pivot high support. As you can see right now, it looks as if copper is coming back down to retest this line one more time. Let's figure out what I expect to happen if it comes back down to this line and retest. So the first possibility is that it gets a bounce from this support. If it gets a bounce from the support, I would expect it to head back to local resistance as marked by this double top right over here. If it breaks through that local resistance, I'll expect a move to the top of this macro channel that we've been talking about, and that would be at about $5.86 if it got there in the next month or so. If it comes down to the support line and can't hold it, there's two zones that I'd be looking for it to find new support. The first would be the bottom of this macro channel. And if it can't hold there, I'd expect it to come down to this green horizontal line, which as you can see, acted as a double bottom before getting its ultimate bounce through its local resistance at that time. So listen guys, these are the possibilities I see for copper right now. And I want you to let me know in the comments what you think is gonna happen next. Thanks.